Just turned back up to my old haunt, Duncan Bay, after the last trip. We are gluttons for punishment, aren't we, Barty? So last trip it was 30, 30 to, what would you say, 40, gusting 40, 45 knots down here? It was horrific, and the forecast for this weekend is pretty much the same, but um, <laughs> we were like, oh, well, let's just go anyway. But getting into Duncan now, it's actually pretty nice in here. We're at uh, the bottom end of the tide. We come up at Gentleman Hours, and we stopped at the Rye and got ourselves chicken and chips, and we had that uh, on the top of the hill. That was pretty good. Barty went to three-piece pack. I only went to two-piece pack, and I struggled with that, but Barty mowed his down. Do you enjoy it, little fella? Yeah, I was actually talking to someone the other day. The old Duncan Bay boat ramp uh, there. Actually, Barty, did you know that um, I helped build? we helped build the ramp? Yeah, seriously, like the second parts and third parts on the ramp. Um, I was only a little fella, but I still helped Dad and Popper and all that. So we actually helped build the Duncan Bay ramp. And it's good down here too, guys. It's all tied ramp and... Uh, uh, there's no ramp fees either. The jetty's a little bit of a nightmare on high tide if there's a bit of a breeze, but um, yeah, she's pretty cool. Cool spot, and I uh, love coming down here. Actually, our family batch was, uh, I probably told you, it's the fourth one in the bay, fourth batch ever built in the bay. But it's looking cool, and I'm stoked that it's uh, pretty good weather. Barty, it is good, good, dude. That's probably only about five, five knots. In here? Yeah. Might be a different story out there. Yeah, well, we saw the white caps out further, but yeah, it was in out of Nelson, leaving going through Nelson, it was a southwester of about it was 20 knots scale force in there. But at the moment, it's looking pretty good in the sounds. But if it's like last trip, we'll have to bail and find a mooring. But our purpose of this trip is we're top watering to start, hey, buddy? Uh, yeah, probably. We're gonna top water the farms, make our way out. We're we just gonna make our way out and top water as we head up around. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to head up around and then we're going to head into probably Beatrix, somewhere through there where we can fish and have a go this evening overnight for a snapper. Tomorrow morning we're going to head out um, further out probably. We're going to go to Derville or up top there somewhere. Yeah, if we can. And we're going to uh, we're going to try the new um, Soku lures, aren't we? Yep. Are they called Soku? Sunuku. Sunuku, Sin isn't it? The new Black Magic Sunuku slow jigs. And we might actually have a soft bait and a slow jig. Actually, the last trip was pretty cool catching all those gurnards, so depending on what weather's like, we might actually do some soft baiting. But we got um, jacked up on soft baits and uh, got a heap of them, so let's go fishing, people. Just as I said that, that wind started, eh? It's following you, buddy. The wind's following you. Are the phones in? Yeah, mate. We all good? Yes. We are, mate. Trying to do a successful deploy this time. We broke the winch in the last one, which you probably saw. That was a nightmare. We good? Look at that. Yeah, I will do, yeah. Yeah. How good was that, dude? Okay, that's really creepy because everything's working out good at the moment. No broken winches. Barty's just taking the wagon back up. Barty's mega concerned that he'd have to try and do that. Get up on the front again. He nearly had a hernia and ripped his arms off. But it's calm enough that we should be able to get him on the front of the boat. But fingers crossed guys, we can catch some fish. But yeah, we'll top water this afternoon for Kings, then go for snap, and then tomorrow morning, probably bait fish and burley till maybe 7am. We'll get up at five if we don't stay up all night, get up at five and 
fish for the morning and then about 7 a.m. make our way up to the straits if the weather lets us and try some new black magic slow jigs and barkus and soft bait maybe on the way up for some carrots. Whoa! How good's this weather? How bad is this driving? I'm glad I don't have to witness you getting on the front again. Yeah, me too. i tell you what it did do though. Yeah. I haven't had a full shoulder since that day. You haven't? Oh, so what? You had a you had a bad shoulder, and that solved it. Senator Cry practice. That'll be eighty-five bucks, please, sir. <laughs> Don't go in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was uh, that was close, bruh. You know, it was keeping me up at night and everything. Oh, with the shoulder. Yeah. Oh well. So you shot. It's gone after that. Yeah. Wicked. <laughs> yeah. It'll be eighty-five bucks, mate. Dude, how good it is isn't here. at the moment? <laughs> it is in here. Still, it's it's nice to launch in nice conditions. Yeah. Let's we know we can come back in here in a bit, man. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Well, their boats, Sad's boat's still out of the water, so we can use his mooring. <laughs> I may have stuck yours up on the back. I wouldn't expect to get messed. Whoa, Cray! Do you want to delete our last nightmare trip? Yep. We'll delete it out of the system forever. We've just made our way up around the corner of the Beatrix. That westerly was coming through like it was forecast through the reach there. It was probably about 15 knots, eh, buddy? Probably 15 knots? Oh, probably 20. 20 knots? Um, it wasn't too bad a ride up, though. And now the west is coming through here, the reach is this way here, and the wind's sweeping around down here. Further up, it's all pretty calm, and where we are at the moment, it's not too bad, but we're gonna. Um, we're gonna chuck some stick baits around anyway. Behind us here, this is an old um, abandoned farm, I believe. People have said about it, but I've never really had a look. Uh, plenty of bait fish below us. And we'll try and get a kingfish. What are you going with, Barty? Um, You're running lighter, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna go a Nomad. Ooh, Nomad. I think this is called something ghost. Ghost. Oh no, that's like a squid. That's the squid. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> Pretty close. I'm gonna go a Shimano OC, a bubble dip. And we changed the hooks out to inline singles as well. And you got any of those um, soil thingies? The clip fast clips? That? Oh yeah, that'll do. I'm running a 6000 Stella with uh, Osea 8 braid and Barty is running a 8000 Stella on a grappler rod with Osea 8 uh, PE4 is it Barty? Five. Or 5, PE5. I've got PE5 as well. Oh, I thought I was drifting down through the middle but I decided I was going to go straight through that far. <laughs> 
Hey Barty, yeah. tell us the time when you threw the stick bait over the farm. What farm? In, uh, over in Mott, the Mott Spat Farms. My first calf with it. Yeah, what happened? Um, I think a kink just hit it as soon as it got to the water. Was that the other side you cast over the farm though, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Barty cast over the farm and hit the other side as soon as it hit the water, a kingy hit it. And uh, he lost. Uh, he lost a lure straight away. These bubble dips work good, dude. They got a good action to them. Look at the sign there. Oh. oh. What have you done, buddy? Nothing. <laughs> if we drift it, look at the sign there. If we drift down there, I'll back you up. Where you going? Oh, you're going to reverse that. Oh, you did. He's right in the rope, isn't he? This is going to be a debacle, buddy. A debacle, my friend. After us telling Barty's story about casting it over the line, it's what he just did. So it was a bit of an art form to get it off. <laughs> Somehow we managed to get a break in a little bit of a breeze and get in there and Barty manhandled it off. Barty's still stick baiting. I've got a squid lure on. But the squids aren't taking it. Barty, no squids. No squids. mint up here now still a bit of a breeze coming around the corner but you can still see the wind cruiser down through there but hopefully we'll get a nice evening we're just going to make our way up here and carry on stick baiting do you just want to drift like this buddy or do you want to um drive to the next farm um, i want to look on the ends have a look on the ends that's where the money is Roger. Drop. I don't know. We got. Look at the um. Look at the sign on the bottom there, Craig. Oh, fuck, I don't want to see it. I'd rather have something ready in there. But I don't. Take... Well, we can just drift our way through here. Yeah. We've just seen a heap of birds working at the top of top of Beatrix here. Dolphins as well. So we're going to drop baits or soft baits, Craig. We're going to do soft baits. Uh, after having a go, for sort of a. Bit of a go last time, we thought we would uh, carry on and try softies for something different. We got nothing up here, none on these lines, eh? Yeah. You can hook up between these two, Barty. Right, me and Barty just had a go soft baiting around the dolphins and the birds working and nothing. A bit of sign there, but not much going on. We're just having a look where we're gonna park up for the night. As we move further down the top of Beatrix, that wind's coming over from Foresight over the top end and blowing back this way with the incoming tide. So, like normal, Everything's working against us. You okay, buddy? Yeah. What do you reckon, pal? What are your thoughts? 
Well, where's, where is looking like you feel this giant Barty snapper? That, that there, we could tie between those farms because there's no warps, there's nothing, it's just top line. So we could tie right across the middle and maybe just point the nose in towards the mainland there or but and then if we're sitting crossways from the wind at least we can set the three ways out each side with the change of the tide it won't affect the boat if that makes any sense or we can point the nose that way so the wind coming this way and this way won't really come into the cabin maybe I feel you're spiraled into fishing depression Barty no 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 do you want to just keep ticking around the coast here? I don't care. It's all place I've ever been before, so it's exciting. Kind of good just looking around. All right, let's go for a little wander. I mean, I think the wind is going to drop. It's just a matter of around <coughs> until then, really. Yeah. We've lost interest in fishing now, and Barty's just spotted a oh, a deer, a goat. No, there's a goat down there. Oh, the it's beach. a goat. Must be a goat. That's good life. spotting, Barty. Is it? Yeah. It still looks like a deer. Do you see all the goats there? Oh, yeah. He looks like a deer. Yeah, yeah. They look like goats. They're definitely goats. But that looks like a deer up there, doesn't it? Yeah. There's I'll another try one below it as well in the bush. See, same colour. Oh, it is too. Be they're deer, deer. They? they're deer. Oh, there's, an, and there's another one, might be another one above that, because they're all they're, they're deer colour. Let's try and zoom in on There's three of them here, I think. Right, you can see the little... The zoom's not good here, but right in the middle there, there's a black goat. But then up there... Uh, I can't see it out of naked eye now around those two bluffs there, straight above that tree in the middle there, eh? Oh yeah, so it should be about the middle of the camera now. Right there. They look, they're bigger. Yeah, look at that big Billy. Billy. Holy <laughs> shit, he's yeah, massive. Love that. Yeah. yeah. Zoom in on I can't zoom that good, no. I don't have my big lens, but I'm certain I've got that guy in middle frame anyway. That's a lot of goats. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's huge, dude. Yes. That big billy would be good eating. Good snacking, Barty. Good snacking. Wish we had a gun now. Oh, you can't shoot off a boat, can you? But if we were grounded, we could. Oh my God, imagine me trying to shoot something. It'd yeah. be... <laughs> oh, I couldn't shoot the side off a car. I couldn't shoot a window on a car. From close range. I'm no big bad hunter, that's for sure. They're definitely deer, dude. They're way bigger than those creepy goats. Look at that big billy. Yeah, They've deer. sensed us, haven't they? Yeah, and now those deer are looking straight at us too. That's all pig rooting. Is that all those, even over here? Well, they weren't deer, they were actually goats, but uh, that's our spotting skills anyway. Our goat spotting. Imagine that, think it was a deer would shoot a giant goat. Craig. Nice little bay here. We're just cruising around, basically not really. We've got time to kill, so we're actually just checking out. We've never been up here, so we're just checking out the top of Beatrix. And there's a, a, a classic old um, homestead in the background. Probably see it there. That's wicked, isn't it, Barty? Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
that's a creepy old house and it looks like a little outhouse next to it there I haven't got a great zoom on this camera so I can't really probably zoom in too good but you guys can probably see it there in the background I'll get a closer look it's pretty calm in here a little bit of a swell coming in we're still sort of just gonna make our way up around the corner here and check it out and then make a plan on where we're gonna fish for the evening but this old place is uh, pretty gnarly we're actually saying it'd be pretty cool to come down the sounds here and maybe um, get someone to drop us off at one of these beaches and camp up for the weekend and just surf cast and then get picked up again that'd be cool something different anyway make a bonfire because there's plenty of wood on the beach that'd be nice wouldn't it Craig cook up some gurnards are you looking for deer again goat deer you picked up a goat already? Yeah, I'm picking up quite a few. Oh, there is, there's a there's goat right, right, right there. And there's is that a big billy too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he'd be good snacking. Oh, he's another one behind him. There's a few there, eh? Yeah. What's with you and billies? Why do you like billies? Billies are there better eating. Why? Because they're chewy. <laughs> Delicious. There's a Nice uh, jellyfish. You look like you've spiraled. Craig. Hmm? Are you just relaxed or you're spiraled? Just relax. Where are you taking us with the big snappers? Craig. We need to go, it's definitely back over the other side. Are we carrying on around the corner there for a look? Yeah, might as well. Still got time to kill before the wind drops. What well, if it doesn't? Do you know you just said that? Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. wind just picked up right on cue. There's heaps really of them. <laughs> they run when you do that, eh? That big billy under the tree doesn't care, but the rest of them take off, eh? <laughs> he may have done. Whoa, it just looked, yeah. I think it's all just come off at once. That's not good. It's gone about five o'clock. We are just chucking stick baits up around the farms up here in Beatrix. In the background over here. There's a boat coming up here and there's a free diver spearing just over here. And another and another boat uh, on the other side of us here. They've got a dive flag up, driving around. So, uh, spearos are everywhere. Barty's just got the wind knot from hell. We sort of worked out with top watering too. When you get a wind knot and you pull it out, it actually creates a weak, weak point in the line. And we've hooked up a few fish and busted off on those weak points. But Barty's thinking uh, he might have reels. It does look pretty chock a blocker, dude. <laughs> How's it so bad, though? Oh, have you? It's yeah. all good. All good. So yeah, we're gonna. Well, he it looks calmer up around up around the top there now. So we're gonna head up there. Going up there. Do you reckon that looks like, yeah, it's, it's, it's beyond the Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bryce, he stitched you up, dude. Big time. Yeah, that's, isn't it? Yeah. He stitched you. Look, we didn't even notice it when we were putting the leader on. Nah, but she's overspilled something with it. You need 20 metres off that thing. Yeah. 10 metres, 10, 10 or 20 metres off it. Right, we've, we've parked up between two two muscle farms now we've tied off the back on one and off the front so we're sitting side on and pretty much as soon as we both baited that wind started and it's probably gusting to 10 or 12 knots really instantly that was instant Barty it's the final hurrah why does the wind hate us so much man that radio chat is gone hard I've majorly spiralled into fishing depression Barty, Barty's been grumpy at me. He even called me a 
that hurt my feelings a wee bit. That spoiled me even more. All I said is, is it home time yet? Oh, so our lines are going, to go, going that way. Under the farm? Yeah. Perfectly under the farm. You'd be alright, you just have to point if you hook yeah, up, point right. your rod to, to the water. Yeah. And I'm just dropping straight down under the boat on the opposite side to the burley, so. No, why don't you go down to this back corner and fish off that one? Oh, no, I'll just go here, it's all good. Are you going to put another one out there? Yeah. No. I don't understand what your game is. I don't have, I don't have no game. When you, mate, when you're in fishing depression, you can't get someone out of it. We're swinging off the front one, aren't we? We're swinging off the wall. Right, first fish, we were just sitting here having a beer and got a giant gurnard. That's pretty good. We were seriously spiralling because that wind's gusting to 15 to 20 knots maybe, gusting through here. So it's a bit of a nightmare. We're not sure what we're going to do, but if we stick it out here, we might get a feed of gurnard anyway. He's huge. He ate squid, buddy. Don't be that spiny thing. No, carpo. Carpet. Oh, oh, the carpet. John Dory. Oh, the carpet. It's a carpet backward. A backward, backward carpet. Oh Jesus! Oh, do a giga. You got me right, my little fella. Not like me to take the Gurner title out of your hands, buddy. Oh, he's stinking too. Yeah. It's a good Gurner though, mate. Mm -hmm. That's not bad, eh? Oh. Oh. Wind got my beer cray. Yeah. He gets that on squid. Yeah, he took a squid, would you believe it? No, I wouldn't. Like that big tail squid there. The big tail squid. Yeah, like um, that bit. But a huge bit. Huge. Yeah, there's heaps up the front too if you need one. Look at that guy. Snapper Snack Pinky. Yeah. They are lethal for the Gurnard guys. This is the same as last trip actually. Barty was cleaning up and I was using a McPilly or whatever it was and um it's changed over to that. And giant Goonies. Was that on squid again? Nah, that was on Pilly. Right. My bit of squid's looking pretty old and tattery though. Why didn't you change it? Um, I don't actually know. Holy crap, that was a squall. Oh. Nearly blew the blew the camera off its bloody. Holy shit. I saw it coming and then I saw the whirly wind. Yeah. Jesus. Get ready, here's another one coming. Let's get it. Yep, get ready. I'm holding the camera. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Oh yeah! You lose them. Huh? I don't think I want them. You not get them. 
doing? Carpet shark. Yeah. No. Yeah. That, that's the banana smash you got though, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, is that what they like? Probably. Two gurnard, two carpet sharks, and a starfish. Which is going well. It's still gusting between this way and that way. And we're sort of just swinging on the anchor, but it's all good at the moment. Sun's about to go down, another big gust is about to hit. There we go. I don't know if the mic can, the mic probably drowns out all the wind noise. Definitely gonna get chilly when that sun goes over the hill, Barty. Definitely, Lucky. mate. Lucky well, I thought you would have learned last time. Oh, it wasn't bad. We got in the cabin, eh? Hey? <laughs> Cabin's warm. Get off. Was that straight in? Pulling bait runner, dude. Yeah. That's the first. Oh, that's. Down there. Really? Yeah. Holy Jesus! I've got big baits on the big um chunks of good uh filtered. I filleted one side, then chopped the fillet and doubled it up. So I got huge bait. I'll go for that giant, giant, giant gurnard. We're smashing the gurnards again. It's pretty good though. We, between the wind. But uh, we're probably gonna sit here for the night unless it gets real bad or something. Oh, Barty, look at it humming through there, dude. Yeah. Can you see over there? Yeah. It's like the other night again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she's smoking through there. Right, two rods out. You back in. The carpedo. Yeah. Really? Dude, that's coming around more and more around the corner, eh? Hey. That's coming around more and more, eh? Oh. Damn it! You lose another one. Yep. He's just toying with me. Still squalls there hard out, eh? Yeah. Just non stop through there. Sad thing is, he's probably legal. We don't want them, do we? Nah. I don't want to fill it in here. That's what it comes down to. Oh, look at that one. 
They start off real good, eh? Yeah. Shit, isn't it, dude? You um, you want to um go around the corner or yeah. Dunker Bay mooring? We're gonna have to go around there. We don't want to go back through that. Now. I'm just saying, if we do, we do it now while we've got light. I don't think we want to go that way, do we? Well, I don't, I don't know, dude, but it's just not getting any better. But I'm just saying, if we're going to well, do well, it... We'll go over a little look around the corner and see what it's like. Roger. Right, that's the plan, team. It is uh, shit once again. We kind of knew it was, but the forecast this afternoon was meant to calm off. It hasn't, because the wind and weather gods hate us. But to be fair, we've got a few more Gurnard, and I've never been a Gurnard fan or chasing them, but after that last trip with Barty, that was uh, that was awesome getting those ocean giant going ones, eh? Hey, Barty. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to go and have a look up at the corner and then make a plan from there anyway. We've still got plenty of time up our sleeve. Sleeves. got a skate. <laughs> the wind's died right off now, it's doing probably, what do you reckon, 30 knots? Probably 30 knots in the morning. We came up to a real calm spot, it's pretty, pretty good up here. Holy smokes. My sat compass is down again as well. Just like that. gale force and uh, we're gonna park up here for the night anyway and we were talking about cooking tea and I'm unsure how we're gonna do it we've got one of those little portable well, you guys would have seen the little portable gas cookers I don't even know how we're gonna uh, we'll find a way to cook tea anyway we've got uh, lamb chops for tea lamb chops we're gonna try and cook them in a wee bit but uh, yeah it's pretty nice up here it's only gusting to 30 knots, so it's not too bad. Nothing we're not used to anyway. You happy, Barty? Could be, could be bit. I mean, it could be worse. We could be at home in warm, warm, comfortable conditions. But as a storm chaser, you just got to brave the elements. That was probably the best run we've had all day. That skate. Yeah, she went. But uh, we'll shut the camera down now and just bring some action. If we get any action, we'll start the camera up again. But she's pretty quiet. Got a giant cod just before. Uh, and because it's closed cod season, had to release it. Which is all good. But uh, nothing much going on, really. That skate, and that's about it. That line's pretty loose too, Barty. What line? This one here. God, where are all my lines going now? <laughs> Was that your bait runner then? 
That one. Uh, was it? Yeah, I heard it. No. I've got uh, little lights on my rods now. So I've got a green one there and the blue one there. So you can actually see when your rod is getting attacked by carpet sharks. Just had a good knock on that rod though. Still blowing pretty bad here. <laughs> and the carpet sharks just come on in full force. Just gone 10 o'clock, we are slaying the carpedo sharks. Uh, they are out of control now, and giant carpets. Uh, Barty's just cooking uh, uh, chops, lamb chops. We're having lamb chops for tea. It is bitter cold, and we've got that westerly wind coming through, and it's gale force here. So we're going to uh, have tea, and then we're calling it quits, Barty, going to bed. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's no good. Carpet sharks are just smashing the bait, so... We'll call it quit, get up early. And I don't think we'll snap a fish, I think we'll head out uh, to the straits first thing anyway. And see if we can't get uh, some snapper or some kingies. So we'll see you in the morning. Right, well, that wind hasn't died off overnight. It's still coming over the hills. It's not bad though, it's probably five, gusting to maybe 10 knots. Um, overnight it was coming in uh, southwester. Now it's gone back to westerly. And it's just gone six o'clock. Just had a um, brewed up a cup of coffee. And we're just sorting out the gear now. We're gonna chuck some sticks um, out around the farms on the way out, make our way up around. Plan is to go up top. If it's too shitty, we might just target some more gurned um, through the up through the reach in the deep there. I've got a couple of new rigs I want to test out. A couple I've rigged up. Uh, so if all else fails, we'll go gurned catching. But we'll chuck some stick baits now and see if we can't wrangle a king here. But that westerly I can still see coming around the corner, so it might be an early trip home. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> out to spot X. Oh we stick baited up through the farms first thing and then we headed out to spot X and that was a complete letdown. The wind as soon as the tide changed when we were gonna start catching the fish we were waiting for the tide to change. We hit a bit hit a bit in behind the islands to have a coffee. Then we came out to have a fish it was doing about bloody 15 knots and it was the wind and tide we started to join forces and we thought we'd better bail because the forecast is meant to get up this afternoon. We decided now we're going to come back into the into the sounds and target some more carrots. But I've got me. Uh, did you get the right rig, buddy? No, no. Nah, nah. What's so different? It's well, the wrong rig, mate. <laughs> get the right rig, Craig. Okay. Is there one? Is there no another pinky? You want to go the um that one? No. You gotta go pink. We'll here. just go this one. Alright, fine. Okay, no, I'll go, I'll get go it. Go it, go it. Alright. So I've made a new custom rig called the um, Gurned Banger. You like that name, Barty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Gurned Banger. So basically, you've got your old traditional Black Magic snapper snack there, and that's the pinky ones. I mean, these are just dominated anything else, a eh, Barty, for your carrots. So basically, you've got your standard rig the there, one. eh? Well, I still think. Oh, I can't believe you actually took the orange one, but it's the rig we're testing. Okay, so that's your traditional uh, snapper snack, and usually we're using bigger, but 
For Gurnet, I actually prefer a three bar row, the smaller hook. I just think it probably sits a bit, a little bit better in the jaw, or it's a little bit smaller. And then at the bottom rig, the difference is... Oh, you're running another hook on the bottom. You like that? <laughs> so, got a four ounce sinker. So, so this is pretty much a deeper um, gurnet rig, or if you've got a bit of a drift on. You've got, got a swivel at the bottom, and then it comes up to another, another snapper snack. So that's it there. At the bottom, it's kind of like a little stray line off the bottom. Usually, you guys, you'd, you'd have um, your sinker just here, but that's what I've done is run another little rig. So it's a basically a, a three hook rig, which is Ill illegal in the sounds. Just now that I thought I made that rig, it's actually illegal in the sounds. Um, you probably want to go back to your standard rig there, Barty. <laughs> I was thinking about that before. I was like, this is what? So don't use a three-hook rig in the sounds. It's actually illegal. And uh, I just rigged that. But that's... Uh, damn it, I was so excited about this rig, dude. Just cut a hook off the top. The top one? Yeah. Well, then you might as well just have... Um, nah, because it's a brand new fancy black rig. We'll just save it and we'll go back to tr traditional lay. Eh? No, I want to use the new rig now. You can't with all the hooks, Craig. Well, I'm taking the top one off. Well, you're paying for it. Okay. It's $80 rig. Okay. Do you reckon that little trailer's good, eh? Well, I'll try it. You're actually just going to chop it off. Yep. Oh, You've man. got about 5,000 of these rigs in there. Yeah, Do good call. Cool. Okay, we're going to take, we're going to get rid of the top. We're gonna get rid of the top hook anyway. You know? I hear you, Craig. Whoa! Okay, so just to prove that I am actually doing it, guys, that we're not illegally fishing. There, there you go, it's gone. So, one hook, sinker, and there. The Gurnard Banger. So that sinker too will just roll across the bottom. And I'm gonna use a uh, bait runner with a 4,000, oh, Chaos, Chaos rod. We've got the old secret bait as well. We've got the old uh, whole Benito Barty ball. Uh, which way are we drifting, dude? Oh, we're sort of just leisurely that way, aren't we? Mate, that's, that's oily as, eh? Gurnard Banger Deploy. The old vlog content's been pretty average lately. Sorry, guys. At least we're chasing and doing different stuff. Bit of Goon fishing last time was actually pretty good because we actually got giants, eh, buddy? We might be better up through the middle over there again, eh? Yeah. I'll do a drift through here and see how we get on. Right. You hungry? Do you want a sandwich? Yeah, maybe. Do you want pastrami, pickle, and mustard or pastrami, pickle, and mustard? Pastrami, pickle, and the mustard is. What sort of. Ah. Yeah. Outrigged this. Well, those other ones we've bought, those salad, salad, um, salad and chicken ones are nasty, dude. So, and yeah. then there was like um, vegetarian ones, which looked good, but they didn't have any meat content. Right, we get it nothing. Yeah. So I figured we'd just get pastrami, gherkins, and something or other. Alright. Yep. What was it for Strami? Pickle. Oh, oh get it on. They haven't put pickle in half my sandwich, buddy. Buddy is on. They underdone me with my pickle and my Sammy. I'll, I'll put it in from the other half anyway.
but that's on the little bottom hook. That's going to be awesome. Oh. You're right about one thing. It worked. It was on the bottom hook. Spiny dog. Really? Absolutely no sign here at all. So we're going to uh, head up, probably up to the middle of the reach there. But yeah, just remember guys, the Marlborough Sounds area is only two hook rigs. And it's still currently closed cod season, so that won't open until I think about the 18th of December. It's about the 18th. It's something like that, isn't it? Yeah. So any more than two hook rigs up here is uh, illegal. You can do that out into the, the western side of Derville and Challenger, uh, was it Challenger West, eh? Challenger East, West. So you can use three hook plus rigs. So this will be a good rig for Tasman Bay. And for spiny dogs. You have not got another shark, have you actually? Not what have you got? What is this? It's got some heat dots to it. You got a snappy. I want you. Where's that positive attitude you have? Do you lose it? No. Oh. Got it's that. It's definitely a shark. Yeah. It's not pretty. Okay. It's a giant shark. Giant shark. I don't know, what's with that do? Pulling out sharks. There's little to no sign here too. Well we went past the salmon farm and uh old mate Richie that works on there seen us. We tucked around the corner and he came back and he said, Oh, nah do this drift, go here. So we did that straight away and old mate put us onto the carrots. Barty was calling shark on this because his negativity is uh, running rampant now around the boat. But I've got a gurn for him to gut anyway. <laughs> Craig, Fizzle. can you get it off the hook for me too? But that was on my uh, gurned banger. Two hook. How good, Craig. <laughs> we, you want to do that drink again? He's bloated too. Gonna, oh, we've come in quite shallow now. Yeah. Well, we'll do it again. Why would we not? We got one. I know. <laughs> Almost literally straight away. I don't even think I need to rebait them. <laughs> I'm happy with my bait choice. That skin's real firm on the Benito, eh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Shitloads better. My bait's gone. Oh, hook's gone. Hook's gone. <laughs> oh. What got you? Who done? Something with teeth. You know, it makes sense, Marty, the bloody, um, uh, uh, the current come around the corner, eh? Right? Yeah. Deploy. Not deploy. Good shit, Richie. Thanks for that, mate. He said he's they're cleaning a chute or something. I'm not sure what, uh, what you're meaning, mate. But we're going to go and probably have a look at um, a heap of bronzies around the salmon, salmon farm. Maybe try and film them as well in a wee bit. If it is, it's another good one. Shit, they go good, don't they? Yeah, another giant carrot. Look at that. Mate, this is how good. How good. We have a feed of carrots. 
Yeah, we'll go back up. I can't save some. This is why you should have had the Gurnard banger on. <laughs> Jesus! That's not it. That's a big gurney. That's not doing it. What have I got now? Oh no, there he is. Other one. Is that just him in the current? Is this a world record? What is going on, buddy? Might be. Unless it's that 65 centimetre gurney. Whoa. What have I got? Tail wrapped shark. Well, to be fair, you're probably better off not getting a bite than a shark of this calibre. What in God's name? Definitely a shark. No, oh, no. Snappy. Oh, no, shark. <laughs> not even a big shark. Yeah. That's disappointing. Craig. That rig of mine. Maybe it's just scuffing up because it rolls across the bottom, it scuffs it up. Yeah, all over it. I'm not even getting it cut. Gurned bangers, buddy. The Gurned banger. We'll have to see if Black Magic can make this a commercial rig. Gurn it on. He's probably a bit small, eh? Yeah. You can go back, little tiker. Tacker. Right, we're doing another drift, but we're going to try something. Barty's going to take my rig and set up, and I'm going to take his. We're going to see if the um, Gurnard Banger makes a difference. No, we're not. Here we are. No, no. we're not. Why aren't we? I want to know if it works. Or I'm just an exceptionally oh, good Gurnard Banger. Well, yeah. Yeah, we're going to hear the end of it. You won't, Grant. I mean, what's your name, Barbie? I want to keep calling you Grant all of a sudden. You won't, mate. I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not the sort of person that would say I told you something. I noticed this time you dropped in a completely different area. What are you trying to say? That I'm cheating? Well, I've gone the middle. I've gone the middle, pretty much just the middle drift. <laughs> oh, fish <laughs> on. Oh, very good, bud. It's time to go home. I don't know if it's a gurnard though, Craig. I don't think it is either, the one that took. Oh, no, it's definitely a gurnard. Better not be. How did you get to on that? Well, I'm chasing Gurney, okay? Must be something just on that side of the boat. Oh, it's gotta be that. Can't be the fisherman, surely not. Well, no. I can't see anything. Yeah, definitely a carrot, Craig. Right, I'm out of here. Definitely a Gurney, see ya. It's not a bad size one, Craig. Okay? Oh, God, I caught that. It's on my rod. It's definitely a... Uh, that's a giant, Craig. <coughs> definitely can't, definitely can't be the angler. <laughs> Craig, get out. Craig, my big gurney. I'll try to catch one. Can you get them off? Try to catch one. Okay, so here was me thinking it was my special rig. Just turns out I've, uh, Got my A game in Gurnard fishing today, really. Craig. Can't be, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you actually did that. How big is he? Right, we're getting into cod terrain, mate. 
You're about to catch a cod. Do you want to go back up or go and look at these sharks? So we're doing another drift on the outside. Of the farm? Yeah. How many did we get yesterday? Three. Yeah. We've got six now. Yeah. That's enough for us. Six gurned in. Yeah, it's heaps. But we'll, we'll have one more drift on the outside. Right, we're going to have one more drift and Barty's going to try and... Uh, what do you call it? Re... re something or other? Yeah. <laughs> To add insult to injury, Barty, that was probably the biggest gurner. Yeah. And it was on your rod and reel. <laughs> How am I catching gurner? I'd never catch gurner. I like the title, I like having it. It's pretty good. It's good feeling, Craig, good feeling. That's off. Push on, buddy. If you want to take it, get out of it. Here you go. You can come here. Go, go away. Go. <laughs> oh, yes. It's too big for a gurn at that one. That's just a big gurn at again. I like your rod and reel set too. It's nice. <laughs> I thought this reel hasn't really been broken in. It does now. Man, are we coming? Carrot Barty. Carrot. It's another Gurnard. Craig. I quite like your rod and reel set. And that rig you were using, it's worked out okay. There you go. Craig, can you get my fish off? Craig! Go away. Craig! 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 <laughs> I'm gonna do this one. I shouldn't pick on him. It's usually the other way around. That's another good carrot. We've got seven carrots now, so... That's pretty good going. Well, the guy that catches them all doesn't gut them, Craig. Well, I just dropped Barty off at the ramp. The Dunker Bay ramp and wind's a nightmare. It's not if you're not worried about scraping your vinyl, your new fancy vinyl, which I am, but I uh, just managed to drop them off okay. Um, coming back up through the sounds, uh, we went to have a look at the sharks, but there it was just uh, wasn't much going on, actually. So we made our way back up through the sounds. And it's screaming uh, sou'easter coming up through there past on the outside of Maud and then coming through the reach. We just took a hiding and we didn't put any, we weren't expecting it and we didn't have any reel covers on all the reels. So I'll be taking them in the shower to wash them in the shower. If you're going to wash your reels guys um, or clean them, make sure you use low pressure and warm water. I generally just, as wet as it is, I take them in the shower and wash them in the shower. Bit of low pressure, warm water, that just eats all the salt off uh, yeah but pretty interesting trip again we kind of knew the weather was bad it was forecast to settle down last night and today and it just hasn't um, I think the flogs are out like, like turning into um, clogs maybe crap logs really more so than fishing logs uh, but still bloody good adventure with Barty it's still good being out here someone keep, uh, was asking me the other day why I post the videos when I don't catch anything but that's pretty much what fishing is. I said all along, if I don't catch fish, I'll still post it because it's not a magical fishing world where we always catch something. As you've seen, probably the last five vlogs, we've caught stuff all. But uh, I'm quite enjoying the chasing the gurnard actually, surprisingly, targeting something different with different techniques. The new flog gurnard banger, which uh, I thought was going really well. But for some reason, it wasn't. It was my side of the boat that was doing the trip. Um, Barty's just back to trail it down. Just gonna make sure we don't go too far down the ramp. Otherwise, if you drop off the end of the Duncan Bay ramp, there's heaps of oysters here. You just punch your ties on the trailer. 
Oh, 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 oh. That wind's already got me. I always like to film these trailer antics, just in case it's a real stuff up. Uh, but like normal guys, thanks heaps for watching the vlogs. It uh, does mean a lot to us that you guys come in and make the time to come and visit me at the shop and say hello and say you watch them. And also don't be shy to uh, drop me a message on Facebook or Messenger. I'm more than happy to help you. If I don't know the answer, I will 100% make it up. But um, yeah, please don't be shy if I can help in any way, drop me a message. And uh, massive thanks to Richmond Cars and Commercials for the legendary flog wagon. Massive thanks to Swazi and Big Blue for supporting the little old flog. And also, once again guys, you guys, thanks for all your support. It is uh, awesome to hear all the comments and positive stuff from you guys. But uh, we will see you next time. Uh, stay safe out there and hope your fishing's a shitload better than ours. Shit easy, buddy.